Welcome in, Gov fans, here to Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium, the campus of William Law High School, as we are on Bill Wallace Court tonight as the Govs get set for first round of the region as they'll host the Central Bobcats. William Blunt was the one seed, the defending back-to-back -back district champions in District 4, 4A, and Central ended up falling to the uh, four seed from District 3. Thus, we have a one versus four matchup on our home court tonight. Welcome in, Stan Painter. Thank you, Robbie. So, yeah, one year ago, last uh, uh, today or whatever this weekend, Robbie, we had this same situation except the opponent was West. Yeah. But, you know, back-to-back -back years to host region games is a, a significant, you know, being in this district. Uh, and uh, it had never been done, I don't think, for William Blunt. Right. Uh, as when they went to the satellite. Right, yeah, right, right. You know, back in 2002, we had a uh, sub-state, or we had a region. We right. hosted the region then. But that was the whole tournament. Yeah, we hosted the whole tournament. So uh, I think only one district is doing or only one region, and that's Region 6, I believe, is the only one doing it that way um, this year uh, across the state um, in 4A. But, yeah, Stan, uh, the difference in last year, after we won the first round game against West, we then had to go and uh, over to Carnes. Over to Carnes as we were, because it was District 4's year to host. This year, it's District, it's District 3's region year to host. This year, it's District 4, our turn. If we continue to win, we'll host all the way to the sub-state. Certainly, and we could host the sub-state, or we could play on the road, depending on how you do in that region final. But, you know, regardless, I like that, Robbie, the fact that we know, you know, tonight's an elimination game. Yeah, you got to play your team right in front of you. Exactly. You're, you're not going to go on the road Tuesday night. You know, you, you know, if you win, you're going to be here. Yep. You lose, you're going home. So, and the same situation will be pretty much Tuesday night as well. So, but yeah, you got to get by. This is good, uh, athletic, central yeah. Bobcat yeah. team. This, you know, central. Don't, don't take them for granted just because they're the four seed. Yeah, they are a pretty sound team. Uh, talk about the history of these two teams, Stan. I looked it up. Last time we played them was in the Renaissance Bank Christmas tournament in 2014. Before that, it was 2001. So, really, these two teams don't have much history, although been in nearly the same region uh, for a long time. Yeah, they have. And uh, probably ever since the existence of William Blunt, but they've never been in the same district. And, uh, you know, it's just the way that things match yeah, up. Yeah, they've been down or we've been down. down. We missed the region for 10 years, you right. know, so after making it for 10 straight years. Well, so. you got to look at it this way, Robbie. You know, Beard was always a perennial team out of this district. Marable, so the, those, the other way, Oak Ridge and, and some of those teams over there. So it's just like, you know, that neither one of these teams has been a parental in the last 30 years, a parental uh, district or a region opponent. Some of the common opponents, Central beat Farragut by three. They lost to Bearden by 16. They lost to West by 25 twice. They only lost to Hard Valley at Hard Valley by five. And against Campbell County, they split against a team we beat three times. Carter, you see a couple of common opponents there. Yeah, uh, a couple. Uh, really, all that matters though is this game. You got to, you got to, you got to show up tonight. Govs playing pretty hot recently. Uh, dropping our five seed. Uh, looks like we're going to probably move as to the hot as anybody. Yeah, Just moving to the national champions. Or excuse me, yeah. national anthem now. No colors tonight, as you can look at the flag up top. But we do have two William Blunt singers singing the national anthem.
great rendition of the National Anthem. We're set for tonight's Lawn Butler of Knoxville, your one-stop shop for all your landscaping needs. Starting lineups, give them a call, 777-1755. Central tonight will be in the road black uniforms. First for the visiting Central Bobcats. Number one, Efrain Pastrana. Number one, Efrain Pastrana. Number two, J.D. Harris. Number three, Reggie Jones. Number five, Cam Horton. And the big man, senior Josh Brown. Number 34 will round out the starting five for the Central Bobcats. Now for your District 4, 4A, back-to-back champions. Number five, Brett Cortez. Number four, Trevor Scarlett. Number one, sophomore Jackson Dabrowski. Been a spark plug during the district tournament. Number 11, Grady Robertson. Number 20, up for Mr. Basketball, Caden Wendell. William Blunt in their all-white home uniforms. Tonight's Anywhere Movers tip-off brought to you by them, 865-235-4108. Good referees tonight, Sean Wilson, head referee, Brandon Murphy, and Jay Davis. William Blunt will be moving left to right on your video screen tonight. Thanks for watching. Sit back, relax. It's Region 1, or Region 2, 4A. Basketball hoops. Tipped up, and Dabrowski has it. William Blunt has possession, and Central will go man-to-man. It's what we expected. They'll slough off of Cortez, maybe. Trevor gets it, kicks it to Dabrowski. Nowhere to go. Cut off nicely. Trevor thought about it, kicks it to Dabrowski. Now around the horn, they go to G-Rob. Cortez up top. Hands to Robertson. Wendell in the paint, can't get it to him. Skip it across to Cortez. It's a turnover as Trevor throws it out of bounds. Yep, in between two guys there, Dabrowski and Cortez out in a no man's land. Looks like William Blum will come out of zone. Well, they almost, they were playing man, but they were slumping way off, Robbie. It's almost like a zone. Yeah. With Wendell in there posting up. Inside, up top of the key is Jones. Inside, get a layup, he blew it. Lost it, or somebody stripped it. Rebound Wendell. Wendell pushes it left side, Grady. Steps into a three ball. Strong, long rebound, going to be taken by Harris. Here comes Jones into the front court. Gets to the elbow, keeps his dribble alive with a left-hand bounce. Now retreats and squares up. Hands it over to Pastrada. Right side, Horton. Now up to Pastrada for three, no good. Rebound, tipped by Great Air Wendell, and he corrals his second rebound early on. We've played a minute and 12 seconds at 0-0. Robertson inside to Wendell. Catch it, kicks it. Nope. Now he'll kick it over to Grady for a two-hand dunk. Oh, wow. Posterized. Big time from G-Rob. First points on the board. Well, when they had three guys on Wendell, you know somebody was open. And a shot. Strong rebound. Wendell, his third already. He's got numbers. Hurry's got Debo, right side three ball. Bottom! Five nothing, Governors. I was talking to Stan off air, Rob. Not a whole lot of people here with about 25 minutes uh, the bottom until game. Bottom, bottom is, is full now. A lot of fans here to support these Govs. A little long two pointer, strong off the glass and rebound number four for Caden. One and done for Central every time. They're a team that goes hard to the offensive glass. Wendell's going to hesitation, go to the corner to Dorowski. Can't get a shot up. Resets to Cortez up top. Cortez will. Wendell's being held. They're going to get him, too. They're going to get number two, Harris. As I think that's the this is the game plan for Coach Huey's yeah. team. Is Marcus was an assistant at Farragut last year, Hardin Valley a couple years ago. He knows Caden Wendell. He knows the governors. Inside pass to Wendell. Shot up and in. Seven, Too easy. Seven nothing, Gus. Kind of how Oak Ridge started against Central. Here comes Jones into the front court. Timeout. It's a full timeout here on the Gov Nation Network. The Govs off to a tremendous start. 
Just two minutes and 30, 28 seconds into the game, up seven, nothing, 60 second break. Back here, great start for William Blunt. We want to thank our sponsors tonight. One of our private donors, friend of the Gov Nation Network. Thank you for your contribution to make this broadcast broadcast possible. Zone for William Blunt. Outside, layup, Pastrada, no good. Tipped around Brown. Got it. So Central Josh. finally able to scratch. And it was off of an offensive rebound. Trevor skips it across to Dabrowski. Now to Cortez. Now Wendell. He'll catch a corner three. Strong. Long rebound is going to be into the hand of Pastrana. Tries to outrun everybody. Stolen by Dabrowski. Back Stolen. into the hands of Harris, though. Really good transition defense by the Govs, though, to stop the run out. And they'll set back up in the 2-3 zone. Left side, it goes to Jones. Jones gets to the elbow, skips it across. Pastrana's three. Good closeout by Brett, but doesn't matter as they've cut this lead down to two. It's 7-5 to five now. Good timeout by Huey. And Central's responded with a 5-0 run of themselves. Grady gets to the elbow. Wendell, another three. Bottom! Yeah. Went under the screen that, that time. Can't that, do that against him. Yeah, that's, that's a mistake. 10 to 5. Govs by 5. 4-15 left. Here comes Pastrada across the timeline against the 2-3 zone of the Govs. It's that Brown high post jumper. No good. We'll take that. Every time. Let him shoot it every time. Three down Grady. Trevor's going to get his first shot up. It's off to the left. Long rebound. Going to be taken by Brown. Inside, Jones floater up. Too strong. Rebound, Grady. So far, only the one offensive rebound for Central. Grady to the elbow. Cut off nicely. Good D there by Jones. Top of the keys, Brett. They don't even look at him. He went under the screen again, but Dabrowski's in the corner. Might want to penetrate on Brown. He won't. Robbie, you know that William Blunt's been well scouted as Marcus Huey worked for JP. Um, oh, what's Scott Farragut? Ali. Back door. Um, Burris. Burris. Yes. He, he worked for JP Burris, so I'd say JP's probably given. Yes. Uh, Coach Huey, a very good scouting report on William Blunt. And you can't have turnovers like that. I mean, that's just a, that was just a, a miscommunication handoff there. They get it in to Harris. Kicks it out. Inside, outside. Got a clean look. No good. Second offensive rebound. Goes to Harris. He looks left side. Pastrata will attack. He's fouled by Dabrowski. No call. And that's a delay of game. Warning. But they didn't call it. As number five tapped the ball out of bounds. That went through the net. Grady gets to the elbow. Two foot jumper, good. Or off two feet jumper. That's about his eight sweet feet. Spot. That's good. Inside pass blocked by Wendell. And rebounded by Wendell. His fifth board. Grady back to Wendell. Sets the puppies. Three ball up. Bottom. Another three ball, Caden Wendell. 15 to seven. 2.30 to play, opening quarter. A little two-man game right there. Wendell, G-Rob Wendell, three. What a terrific block, though, by Wendell. Pastrata, deep, deep three. three. Too strong, third offensive rebound, put back up. No good. As Cortez landed on him, the Central fans wanted a foul. I believe it's on Grady. Debo, strong rebound, Grady. Grady will retreat. Oh, now up and foul under, lay it up, lay it in. 17-7, 10-point lead, Govs. A little, little put back for us. 
Jones, top of the key, left side, back to Jones. Now they get it to Harris. He traveled, no call. First basket for Harris inside, a lot of shots. First one to go down. We get a over to Wendell, back screen, Cortez picks and pops. He'll fire a three. In and out. I'd like to see that one go yeah, just for absolutely. his confidence in the team. Pull up by Jones, no good, rebound Caden. He'll bring it left side to Grady, back to Caden in the middle. He'll attack, left hand shot, and one, one. count the bucket. The old-fashioned three-point play is Lucas Henson set to check in. Yep. We'll get Cortez. Let's see how they guard Henson if they let him shoot top of the key threes. We're going to also bring Hodge in. A couple substitutions here for Central as well. Did you guys get them? Smith. Uh, 10, uh, Clark checked in for his first action. Three-point play by Caden. Converted. Is it Clark and then zero is Smith. DJ Smith. Okay. That was Pastrana first foul team second. We got a minute to play. Harris in deep, cut off nicely. They'll go to a three ball. Nowhere near. Long rebound off of Central would be William Blunt Ball. That was number three, Reggie Jones shooting that three. William Blunt up 11, 50 tickets, ticks left here opening quarter. Inside to Grady, lay it up, blocked. And that will go against Reggie Jones. His first, team's third. That'll send Grady to the line for two. I'm not sure how that ball got to Grady, guys. I don't either. Yeah, he was, was surprised was even Grady. <laughs> Caden with a dime or a dot, however you want to say it, free throw by the 82% free throw shooter, Grady Robertson. It's good. We'll have one more. It's good. 22-9. We'll get some scores at the end of the quarter. 40 seconds to go. Left side for Strada. Attacks the elbow. Short jumper up. Good. That was a nice move. A really nice move. Hand in the face, too. Efrain for Strada. Nick Hodge into the front court for the Govs. 30 seconds left. He'll get a ball screen. Well, didn't even screen anybody, but he was out there. <laughs> See if they lay off of Henson. They don't. Wendell turns the corner and turns it over. I don't know if that was intended for Hodge or Grady was supposed to cut Either, the basket. Yeah, they're talking about it. Is it miscommunication? We doubled them up. Need one more stop to end the quarter. Possession will go to Central to start the second quarter. So no fouls called on William Lund as they've been sitting in the zone this whole quarter. Inside is Smith. Gets it across. Jones left one extra pass. Clark, corner three. No good. Rebound. Oh, they said no bucket. It's after the whistle or after the horn. Your score at the end of one. William Blunt, 22. The Bobcats of Central, 11. We'll take a 60-second break. I didn't hear what you said. We got an 11-point lead for the Govs as Central brings it into the front court. Left side to Harris. High post extended to Smith. He'll attack Henson. Pivots. Nice move there by D.J. Smith. It's 
corner to Grady. There's a hole. I gotta say, or traveled. traveled. Shuffled his feet before he dribbled. So turnover, 7.33 to go here in the second period. Central, only 12 guys on their roster, so not sure how they're how deep their bench actually is. They got four, four of them are sophomores as well, so. Long three, no good. Long rebound into the hands of Nick Hodge. Grady, one extra, extra pass, pass to Wendell. Bottom! Wow. That one from way outside. The one extra. One touch and ripping rope here on a Saturday night. That's a tough two. I tell you what, Estrada is a really good player, guys. He's got nine points of their 15. Yeah, Eight. he likes to shoot a lot. Wendell thought about shooting a deep one. Goes to Hodge, skips it across to Browski. Looks at Henson at the high post, can't get it to him. Now they get it to him. That's a foul. That's two on Harris. Not, yep. not a smart foul. He saw the ball. He said my bad to Henson. I think he tripped into him maybe. But it is his second, which is the most Brown. important thing. Brown will check in for him. Cortez is going to check in. He'll check in for, I believe, Henson. He will. Maryville up 19-7 to seven after one. Could be headed for a Mar an epic William Blunt Maryville showdown next Tuesday night. Oak Ridge up 23-12 over West after one. I so think. all the teams we expected to win are winning right now. Three ball, Debo. corner pocket, Debo. 28-15, Gov, 6-10 left. Here comes the Bobcats into the front court. Smith cut off, now Gov's up top. That's not gonna get there, no chance for that as Wendell steals it. Grady steps into a three. Strong, tipped up by Wendell, boarded by Wendell. Missed the layup, though. Never got his balance good. I believe Robinson's going to pick up a foul here on the loose ball. He fouled. He did, Grady. His first, team's first here of the second quarter. Actually, it's the first of the ball. Grady game. was trying to blow the roof off on that I three. I know, yeah. He had Hodge in the corner, but that was one Grady's going to take all day. Well, and then Caden never, I didn't feel like got his balance good when he went yeah, back Yeah, and then up. I think he got deflected, yeah. maybe. But what a first 10 minutes here for the Governors. A lot better than last year's start was. Yep. We were down by 6 to 10. I couldn't remember. There's a block wow. by Cortez, boarded by Brown. He's fouled by Grady. Oh, boy. That'd that's be a Grady's quick second. Two. That was a foul, too. And that's not good, as Grady's probably going to come out to the half. Yeah, with the lead, you will. But, yeah, last year against West in the same game, William Blount was trailing at half. They ended up winning by 20, but trailing at halftime to Knoxville West, who was loaded with sophomores that year. They're going to keep Grady in. Uh, no, they're no, not. They're not. Um, he was checking with the referee to make sure okay, it yeah. was a foul on Grady, which it was. But we we... Cortez had the block. We should have got the rebound. There yeah. wouldn't have been no foul. No good. Wendell boards it on the left side. He'll go to Cortez. That's a key thing to remember right there, Rob. Yeah, Brown. Brown 0 for 2 from the line. He's got good size, but like I say, he may not be a really good shooter. Cortez to Dabrowski. He'll attack. Goes to Wendell. Catching fire. Strong off the back of the rim. Here comes Jones into the front court with the left-hand dribble. Goes to the corner to Pastrada. Cut off by Dabrowski. Goes back up top to Jones. Back to Pastrada. Another three for him. Bottom. And a timeout by Central. Their second one. As Pastrada talks to the student section a little bit. Cuts the lead down to 10. 28-18. We'll take a 30-second break.
Second quarter action, 505. Five minutes now remaining here in the first half. William Blunt holding on to a 10 point lead. There's a foul again. We're not even watching. The referee was looking up in the in the middle of the court. And there's nobody even in the middle of the court, in the middle of the lane. Yeah, that's bad. Pastrano just absolutely mugged Wendell coming off the screen. Cortez. Not sure why. We don't, there's we don't have to have Gundrowski. that shot. That's his first, team's third here in the third or second quarter. There's no shot clock. Let's work to get, get our looks. A couple of transition fouls here for, from the Govs as well. It's a third team foul. I don't know where Pastrata is, it looks like, as we need to play him as the, as the Nordeen. Deep three, no good. Long rebound, Hodge. It's two good rebounds by Nick. Hesitation, floater up. Error balled, it went to the too strong, stolen by Cortez. Into the hands of Dabrowski. He'll wait till Trevor gets across to help. Back to Dabrowski. Brown is face guarding Wendell. We need to get a bucket for Wendell. Inside to Cortez, kicks it out to Trevor. No good and rebound Wendell. Boards it, scores it. I think Cortez kept that alive with a little yep. poke. And then Caden was able to track it down as Brown is face guarding him. Pastrada, no good. Deep three. Oh, Wendell steals another one. Those passes are going to be Brown gets a cheap one. Not sure why Jones has tried to make those heroic throws so far. Uh, the junior guard for Central throwing some passes. First foul on Brown, second of the quarter here with 3.33 to go. So neither yep. team, William Blunt's got one to give. Central still has a couple to give here in the second. Dabrowski. We'll skip it to Trevor. There's zone, Robbie, now. Okay, this will be a mistake. We're going to get a corner three or a wing three here in a second for Trevor or Caden. Going to be Nick Hodge attacking, lay it up. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. What a pass by Nick. But I believe Pastrano may have picked up foul number two, and he did. Hodge just so quick with the ball in his hands. You so, feel like he could fit just about any window as Wendell. First shot from the line is good. The leading scorer for Central has two fouls. Does it look like that? Coach Huey's going to send anybody in for him, though. Caden makes both. Caden with 18 first half points. Left side to go to Pastrana. He'll attack. Gets in, cut off nicely. Harris is back in. He nice will miss the layup, though. Tipped around, and Trevor runs it down. He gets it stolen, but re-steals it. Now Cortez, long pass. Oh, Dabrowski, what a catch. Lay it up. Back to and one. And one. Touchdown, Governors. As Cortez finds Dabrowski down in the paint, and he finishes it off. Now, we heard that a few times during football season. It's yeah. nice to hear it here basketball season for the chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. Kind of looked just like the scramble drill, Robbie, as Cortez looked up and he kind of knows how to do that scramble yeah, yeah. drill, don't he? And this look, so does Dabrowski. Yeah, he knows. Caught him in the very back of the end zone. And Dabrowski completes the old-fashioned three-point play, and Clark will check back in for Central. Jackson with nine first-half points. Just a, like I watched him in JV a couple times this year. He can get to 20, 25 points in JV. He just needed confidence out here with these guys, and he's he definitely showing you he could be that third or fourth guy to put the double digits on the board. Left side is number five was Horton, who's checked back in. He's his original starter. They go around the horn. Clark will catch and fire. Bottom. Clark's got a good looking shot there. He is a junior. His first basket. Two minutes to go. One up a 14. Hodge. Step back. Cortez. Around the horn they go. To Trevor. Back to man-to-man -man defense are the Bobcats. 150 to go. Reset. No problem here. Let's get the look we want. 
Cortez skips it across to Trevor. He's got Wendell posted. Wendell kicks it to Cortez. Short jumper. That's a good look. Yep, it's a good look. look. Just didn't go down yep. for him. Great ball movement as well on that possession. Inside pass Kick kicked away. I think Coach Huey called special. I'm not sure. Inside to Harris. Pump fake, lays it up. No good. Boarded by Cortez and Harris. So it'll be a jump ball in possession to the Govs. It'll be a rebound. Give credit to Brett Cortez. Henson checking in here. He'll get Cortez. 126 left here in the half. Hodge guarded by Jones. Now he gets a switch with Brown. He'll have to hand to Wendell. Square the court with Hodge. Left side, Scarlett. They get the switch again with Brown. Goes to Dabrowski. Try to get another ball screen. Nope, picks his dribble up. Kevin almost called timeout. Yeah, I was getting ready to say he might need to come out here, but... 50 seconds, yeah. they reset. Oh, deflected out of bounds. Good read there by Horton. Let's see if we can get a layup off of this inbound set right here. Grady will come back in with his two fouls. So he went out, we were up 14, Stan, and we're still. 13, I believe. We were up 13. 28-15, 28-15. Okay. So we've outscored them 7-6. So that's good. That tells you that's good minutes. Yeah, uh, Brady needs to be careful here. Yeah, no going. offensive fouls. He's usually got good body control, so right. if we do. If we score, you yeah. might even want to call timeout unless it's really late in the clock. Looks like Dabrowski is set to check back in. Along, oh, never mind. Cortez is not. 30 seconds yeah. to go. Yeah. Might try and hold for one. Yeah, they're just going to hold for one, I think, so that way. Maybe. I don't know. 20 seconds. He should now. Thumbs up is the play call here from Kevin. He'll, oh, turn the corner. Will Nick. Shot. Lays it over. They lost it. Grady corrals it. Pump fake shot. Good. Four seconds. Three seconds. Long shot going to come by Jones at half court. Long. No good. Your score. The Governors taking care of business on a Saturday night. Taking a 37-21 lead into the half. We'll take a two-minute break. Come back with halftime activities.
halftime at Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium, the Marv. And it is a party fever here for William Blunt as they are up 37-21. This is the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show, brought to you, of course, by Heartland Roofing. Give Nate a call for all your free estimates, free inspections. As we're having a dance off, and it's actually Carter. There is Aubrey's for two. Yep, hundred dollar value. Yeah, yeah. So, and right now I'm going to give it to Caden's mother, grandmother, and aunt. They were the first ones up there. Let's see if we can get them back up. Oh, there's somebody else. So we got a lot of fun going on. William Blunt leads this game 37-21. We'll go right into status with Stan, brought to you by Tim Tipton Real Estate. Of course, Tim has been experienced, uh, experienced here in Blunt County. As any real realty needs you need, give him a call at 984-1111. Here is your first half scoring. Caden Wendell on fire early as he has put up 20. That's right, 20 first half points. Grady Robertson has added 10 points. He's bringing it back now. Here we go, last half through. Excuse me, Greg. Caden had 18. I started saying it doesn't add up here, uh, uh, Tyler Carter. 18 for Caden, 10 for Grady, and 9 for Jabrowski. So that's a total of 37. So three guys were all that scored for William Blunt. But that's significant because Central only has 21 points. They're led by Pastorana, Pastorana as he has. 12 first half points. Then they've just sprayed it around. Clark has three, Smith two, Brown two. And that's a total of 21. Once again, your final score is 37 21. We'll take another one minute break. And we'll be back here at the Marv, William Blunt leading on Gov Nation Network. Yeah, 33 seven. All right, we're back at the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show. This time we'll go to our area update, brought to you by Realty Resource Systems, true full service real estate company. Carter, you've got some scores for us from around the area that might impact the governors down the line. Yep, halftime, Maryville all over Powell, 33-17. Um, so identical margin, 16 point lead for them. Bearden also, also all over Carnes, 32-15 at the half. So they're up 17. I do not have an Oak Ridge score. Robbie, I, I have not got one yet. Okay. So Alcoa, I think you said, was winning too. They're hosting tonight against Hampton. Yeah, um, Alcoa 35, Hampton 25 at half. 
And then um, Eagleton is down big at yep. South Green. Yep, South Green 31, Eagleton College and Career Academy 15. So their first season of varsity sports is coming, probably coming to the end tonight. What about Heritage? We got anything from Heritage? Guys? I have not seen anything from Heritage yet. They're I'll get one right hosting now. Hosting Saudi Daisy tonight. Oh, let's see here. Not seeing anything. So this game right here, William Blunt. Robbie, we went over the scoring while you were gone there. There's only three players have scored for William Blunt, but that's enough. As Wendell has 18, Robertson 10, and Dabrowski 9. Heritage is up 16-15. So that's probably a little bit earlier on than our game. No, it's at halftime. Halftime, 16-15? Yeah, I said I'd get the score right now. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, a little – that's a uh, – Low scoring. Well, you remember their game the other night in the district championship is 39-42. Yeah. But so, that, that was because they claimed that South Dole held the ball, so I don't really know. And you said Bearden was up 32-15. Yeah. Let me see if Oak Ridge has texted me back. So, yes. Oak Ridge leads 44-35 at the half over West. So It's a nine-point game, so that's a little closer – but that's the only one we really yep. thought that, that District 4 would uh, probably lose. So if this game holds, our next broadcast will be right here at Marv on Tuesday night. If all these scores hold, Stan, yeah. this it will be an epic night here at the Marv. With Bearden and Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge. Those two teams will have crowds. And then William Blunt and Maryville, that's going to be a crowd at 7.30 to follow. And... Just the local foot basketball heads that love to watch good basketball will come and watch an epic doubleheader oh, here. It will be standing room only by the beginning of the second game. I have no doubt in my last mind on year's, that. Last year's game with William Blunt and Maryville basketball uh, at William Blunt was the biggest crowd we had since uh, the probably that region semifinal yeah. in 2002. I will say that that game Tuesday night will probably have a crowd similar to that one from 2002, so don't want to miss it. Get out here and watch them. Yep, if, you, if you're out of town, though, and you have to watch us, not a problem. We'll have the broadcast here on NFHS and Gov Nation Network. So here we go. It'll be car, uh, Central's ball to start the second half. William Blunt still has work to do, though. We're not there yet. We still have 16 minutes of basketball. We haven't heard the infamous adios yet, so we'll keep playing until we hear it. And that's too deep. Brown gets an easy Absolutely. one to start the half. So 16-15 Heritage. Need them to keep winning. Cortez has it. Too bad we didn't play Sonny Daisy. Brad could go see some of his good friends. Yeah. As what I said going off the air, Dirty Daisy. <laughs> Wonder how they're playing, but anyways, yeah. You stand, you think about that. William or Blunt County's got three teams playing in the region tonight. Well, actually four, but three. Five. Uh, five. Eagleton. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the, they'll have representative. Yep. Eagleton's going to end tonight, though. They're down big. Win oh, that one oh, all wow. the way around the rim and out. Deep three, no good. And here comes the Central. Going to have to pick up the tempo. They do. They go around the horn against the zone defense. Inside pass to Harris. Shot. Air ball. Good the job defense by Grady. there by Robertson. He tried, Straight to up. Draw, tried to draw a foul inside. The, oh, Trevor inside the window now. Single coverage. Up top. Grady. Three ball. Short. Tipped up by Cortez. Now into the hands of Horton. Horton over to Jones. Goes around his backs. Lays it off to Jones. Now Pastrata for three. Short. Backside board for Wendell. He's getting close to 10. How many points did he have first half? 18. 18. So, uh, 10 short of his average and right about two rebounds short of his rebounding average. Dabrowski goes middle, cut off there, but now has to retreat to the center of the court. We played almost two minutes here in the third, and the lead is down to 14. Wendell off the screen. He ain't missing that there we one. Go. Yep, had a mismatch. Brown on him. Screen led to an easy three. Golly, it's such a pleasure to watch that kid play ball. Is that our first basket? Yeah, it is. Three to two, right? Okay. 
inside Jones, lays it over to Harris. He'll attack. Shot off to the right was Jones, but Brown's going to chase down the long rebound and fire a three. In, in and out. Rebound, Seadog. Head to Cortez. Now to Nebraska. Trevor, extra pass, corner three. No good. Rebound, Wendell. Boards it. Foul, push foul by Brown. Unless they're going to say on the wrist, Pastrada. They are. Oh, we'll say Pastrada. Third. And that is his third. I thought they were going to get Brown for a push from behind. But could have went either way, but... Regardless, Wendell will have two from the line here as he knocks down the first. Substitution here, number 10, David Clark is going to check in for Pastrana. Anybody want to, to uh, either one of you all want to guess what William Blunt's percentage is from the strike tonight? 100%. Yep, eight for eight. Well, we got the right one shooting, our top three free throw shooters. <laughs> all of them over 82%. I think Dabrowski's at 86 Wendell's at 88. Block by. Oh. They'll get Cortez or Wendell. We'll see here. They're going to get Cortez. Cortez on the wrist. The one from Wendell looked clean. Couldn't quite see the one from Brett. Probably the right call. Yeah, Brett's not arguing. His first. Team's first in the second half. So Brown will be at the line, who's 0 for 2 thus far tonight from the strike. Mr. Brown, 0 for and 3. Same thing. They can, they, they're kind of flat. So once they get the rim, they're kind of hard to fall in if they don't have proper rotation. He has four points on the night. That one looked better, but it came out. Uh, too strong. It's, it don't have enough arch to it. 19-point lead for the Governors. Dabrowski with a bad pass, but Trevor recovers. Inside to Dabrowski, skips it. Nope. Oh, what a move. What a move. Oh, he lost his balance. Stolen by Wendell. Another steal. Wendell in traffic. Lays it off to Dabrowski. Lay it up, lay it in. Timeout central. Marcus Huey will have to call another one. It's a full timeout. We'll take a 60-second break here on the Gov Nation Network. Maybe watch a replay or two as we go to break. to play here in the third and a 21 point lead backside shot blocked by Wendell and boarded by Wendell his third block he's got four or five steals over 10 rebounds there's a near steal it is going to be stolen by Harris now to Clark he turns it back over though trying to make a hero play those passes look good when they get there but they're low percentage yeah so we're going to pick up full court, and Dabrowski being a little careless. Hit ahead to Wendell. Wendell will get to the elbow, now lay it up, and lay it off. But he bored. No, he doesn't. Lost the handle into the hands of Jones. He's quickly into the front court. His shot, no good. Rebound, Dabrowski. He wasn't trying to run. Hesitation dribble by Dabrowski. Step back jumper. Good. Wow. Ooh, tell you what, that's nice. We are watching. The maturation of Jackson Dabrowski here, Robbie, in this last month. He has been <laughs> such a spark plug for this team, joining the starting That's lineup. That's a layoff shot. Boarded again, Dabrowski. Ahead to Grady. Got 
Right side, Trevor sets the puppies. Can't make it though. Here comes a Jones three on the other wow. end. Good. Lead down to 20. Timeout, Coach Wendell. It'll be a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. 3.09 left here in the third quarter. William Lump by 20. So Central's going to pick up pressure. And they about have to at this point. Down 20. Yeah, I mean. As the William Blunt offense hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. Still only three guys of scratch, though. Yeah. Stan. Yeah, that's, that is correct. Bert Dabrowski hits four points here in the third and um, Wendell five. So that's. So, and then, of course, Grady's, Grady's 10 he had in the first half. Caden's now up to 23, and, of course, Dabrowski at 13. Ball reflected out of bounds. Moves it over to the side. Much harder place to throw it in. Although he did not have a baseline before. Get it to Wendell. He's trapped. He stepped on the line. Yeah, they called it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, guy. It's a contact. I mean, I know it's just a bump, but if you bump somebody and they knock out of bounds, it's got to be a foul. Am I not right? Yeah, but we've, we've, we've been bumping a lot, too. So there's a block by Grady. So I'm okay I, with the bump out here at the mid-court, Rob, here at the three-point line. I'm talking about if it causes you to go out of bounds, that's a distinct advantage. I guess you're the saying defense. it wasn't hard enough a bump. That ball's blocked. Blocked by Cortez. Rebound Wendell. Left side Grady across the timeline. Hesitation dribble gets in. Shot up, shot. No good. Boarded. Scored it. Wow. That ball's rolling around the rim. A lot of English on it. Grady's first basket of the second half. He's up to what? 12, 12. I believe. Yeah. There's Harris to Estrada, who's back in. To Clark, corner three. Long. No good. Air ball. Over to Hodge, who's checked in. Hodge quickly in the front court. Floater up, floater in. Nick Hodge! Agent zero for two. Clark to Pastrata. He'll step into a three. Bottom. Just enough to keep him around. We want easily beats the press. Left side. Hodge. Now Grady. Flair screen for Trevor. Can't, can't get a clean look. So we'll reset. Hodge backs it out. Now we'll attack Harris off the dribble. Crosses over. Good screen by Cortez. Inside Grady's going to be a dunk. And one. And one. Didn't oh, call it. Lord. Wow. That was bad. You gotta protect the shooter. It's just a there. little bump. It's not that hard. You gotta protect the shooter. They're not calling them, Stan. No. Two more points for Central. Cortez. No good. Boards to Hodge. Fakes the pass. Now a floater for Nick. No good. Rebounded by Clark. Foul by Cortez. We'll call that one. 80 feet away from the basket. Cortez is second. Team second, 105 to go. Horton checks in here. He's going to check in for Clark. Also in DJ Smith, he will come in for Brown. DJ had good minutes in the first half. He's a sophomore. Yeah, didn't feel like he touched the floor enough for him. That There's three ball good. high arching shot and good. Reggie Jones with his second three ball here in the third period. Yeah, they're not going away. 18 point lead for William Blunt. Hodge picks up his dribble. No good. Boarded by Cortez. And one. Brett has been real aggressive on the glass. Yeah. Who did he call the foul on? 
He said 21. Maybe he meant one. Pos one. Okay. That is his fourth, so he will have to sit. Clark checks back in for him. I got to coach Clavo Adios as he walked by out to the exit. Lipinski <laughs> is going to check in here for Cortez, I guess. Uh, they're going to get Grady out, going to play some defense here with 37 and a half seconds remaining. Oh, okay. I thought he was waiting on the shooter. Yeah. Yes, we are still 100% from the stripe. I believe nine for nine are the governors. That'll win games. Zone for William Lunt. Jones, another one, air ball. Smith, no, oh, actually Horton, and he throws it away. 22.2 left here in the third. We're going to bring Scarlett and Grady in. As now, William Blunt will attempt to hold for the last shot of the quarter. I think our biggest lead was 23, wasn't it? 46-23. Yeah, yes, and they matched the three real quick. Hodge gets it in the backcourt. Hodge got all that space by himself so quick. 14 on the play clock. Here at the end of the third. Comes off the screen. Out of Grady with eight. Seven, he's got to go. Five, four, slips, turns. He's going to shoot Trevor at the buzzer. Oh, oh man, right that'd have been big. Just short. Your score at the end of three, William Lutt, 55, Central, 34. Eight more minutes and into the region semifinal will be the Govs. 60 second break. Cold there for. Back here, fourth quarter action. We got a problem. We only have only guys. four guys on. <laughs> they started play with four guys on the court. Caden wasn't on the court. No, I guess they were. He thought he was sitting. I couldn't tell you the last time he came off the floor, guys. No. <laughs> well, senior night. <laughs> yeah, well, that's maybe, about it. Maybe a. Uh, quarter, uh, like an end of quarter or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't think he did in the district tournament, to be honest, as, as now as he said that. Trevor. Ooh, nice look to Grady. Inside. Nope, don't get it to Wendell. Go back to Hodge. Now to Grady. Back to Hodge. We ran 30 seconds off the clock. Spin move by Hodge. Oh, has he? Lay it off to... Uh, I thought he was going to get Trevor in the corner. Turn over. Collected, though. Here comes Jones. He slips. No call. Now a three by Harris. No good rebounds. Caden brings it across. Goes to Grady. 21 point lead. Seven minutes. High post. Elbow. Corner three. Dabrowski. Air ball. Too strong. Backside board by Jones. He brings it across, lays it off with the right hand, off the glass and in. And they'll pick up. Jones has eight press. second half points. Get it to Grady, over to Trevor. Trevor gets to the elbow, now retreats it back, pulls it out inside pass, stolen. Any turnovers here, being sloppy, need to 
There's a blocking foul by Nebraska. A little sloppy here. A couple missed shots. A couple missed. Or a couple turnovers. We get some third quarter scores. Jackson's second personal. First. As I got one from quarter. Heritage. Heritage has extended their lead. They're now up 31 to 18. I want to guess Central's free throw shooting percentage. I'd say it's not very good. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> yeah. How about zero? Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. They had made a free throw? Well, they've made one? one now. One for six. That's how you lose games. We talk about making free throws. Yep. Wendell do 18-point lead for the Guns. 6-18 left in the fourth. Wendell's going to take it baseline, lay it up and in. Nice 25. move by Harris. And he's fouled by Dabrowski. No, Wendell. Wendell's first. Oh, cylinder rule. I thought they were going to call on the arm. So... First on Caden. Yeah, team second. J.D. Harris, short and off to the right. Was that free throw? Is that one for eight? One, one for seven. One for seven? Wow. And William wants nine for nine, you said? That is correct. Wow. I'd say over the offseason, still a lot of time left, but I'd say over the offseason, these guys are going to be spending a lot of time at the free throw stripe. Here's a three from Scarlett. Off to the right, no good. Hodge boards, his third board. Lay it up and in. Nick Hodge, a little flex on him, young fella. 59-37, 5.50 to go. There's a carry, no call. I wonder how many of these kids, Robbie, play both ways for Fit Central on football. Uh, I don't know either. So I know they got five seniors looking at the roster. That's Pastrada, Harris, Horton. Uh, somebody hasn't been in the game named Trey. There's a turnover. Here comes Central. Lay it up for Harris. Good. Timeout. And Josh Brown, the big guy. So they lose most of their lineup too, Stan, as we do too. But it is a 20-point lead for the Governors here in quarterfinal night, Region 2, 30-second break. Twenty-seven remaining here in the ball game. As William Blunt has not extended their lead. Kind of kept it about the same. Was it twenty-two to eighteen? There's another turnover. Yeah. And an easy two. That's going to be a steal in a basket for Jones. Guys, Jones has ten second-half points. Hodge is wide open, but it's you got to get it across. Pass. Wendell will with the dribble. Now finds Grady. Grady. Gets it the window on the block. That's going to be too easy. Oh, no. He got hammered, though. I believe this foul is going to be on Brown. It will. Good defense up front. Brown just flying in there. Unnecessary. First, first foul of the second half, or the fourth quarter for Central. That's Brown's second. That'll send Wendell to the line. If he can stay perfect. Nothing but that. At the conclusion of tonight, we'll talk to one of the Gov players tonight. I think we'll bring up Nick Hodge. Yeah, let's get ready right to Guys, are Pastrana and Horton wearing each other's shoes? Oh, looks like they are. One's got the left wow. foot pink, yeah. one's got the right foot pink. The 
Things you notice in a 20 point game, right? Yeah. It's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Cortez, I believe. It will be. Brett's second. Third. Brett's third, excuse me. Team's third here in the fourth quarter. Brady's average of 28, Robbie, right? Caden? Yeah. Uh, 27. I mean, some change, yeah. He's right at it, 27. Okay. I'm not sorry, I'll commit to Caden. Yeah, Grady's at 19 and again. He's at uh, 14 right now. The top number one and number two all-time leading scorers in the history of the 45-year history of the school. Hodge will get it to Grady. He's foul. Timeout. Timeout. Coach Wendell. Good timeout there. We're a little bit of a trouble. We'll take a 30-second break with him. Oak Ridge up 67-59 after three. Inside to Wendell. Started by Harris. Shot up, shot in. Adios. Adios brought to you by Gastroparts. Visit gastroparts.com, a worldwide supplier of catering equipment. Probably the most nonchalant audios we've gotten well, all year, Stan. I know. I kept waiting, kept waiting for a three ball or something, and uh, you know, it's just getting late. That's a deep three. Good by Pastrada. Pastrada. Trevor turns it over. Blocked oh, off the backboard by G Rob. Yeah, Grady. Into the hands of Cortez. Run out for Wendell. Wendell will lay it up. Oh, he'll actually try to dunk it. Lost it. Rebound by Pastrada. And Grady with the foul. Just let it go, Grady. You fouled him. Grady's third. Team fourth? Yep. Dabrowski back in for Trevor. Got some of our loyal wrist watchers. Coach Paleo down in Georgia. Hey, tell, tell, I'm going to mention Coach Paleo. Hey, there's an alumni game for some middle settlements on March the 7th. See if uh, uh, Angela or uh, Meredith, Meredith want to come back. Uh, send me a text. Intercepted by Dabrowski. Did a foul. <laughs> Just the second foul on Central this quarter. Sport is first. Team second. Of course, Jayma Anderson, always a loyal watcher as well. Angela, is she the all time leading scorer in Blunt County? I don't even know if that, I think she might be, but uh, she definitely probably the best uh, at middle settlement. Oh, well, yeah. Because <laughs> I think she started from fourth grade on. Left side to Hodge. 2.50 to play here in the fourth. 18-point lead. William Lump being patient with the ball. This is not. This is where we don't thrive, like handling the ball uh, and not getting clean looks. Hodge went for the dagger three. No good. But oh, Wendell Wendell steps in and steals it. And, and one! <laughs> Second. Team's third. DJ Smith checks in here. 
Wendell going for the old-fashioned three-point play. Just another ho-hum, 30-piece for Caden. Connects. 66-45. Here comes Pastrata quickly up. And no good. Rebound by Caden. Over to Grady. The shot. No contact, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, they let a lot go. Was that ball tipped out of bounds even? It looked uh, like he just threw it out of yeah, bounds. I think, yeah, I guess that was a makeup for not calling the foul. Ever, I don't think he touched the ball, but he raked his arm. 32 points tonight, guys, for Caden Wendell. Now, I bet he's getting close to 16 rebounds. So big time double-double from him. Hodge will attack. Now cut off. Three people guard. Oh, Maybe he goes goodness. the other way. They're going to run some clock. <laughs> that was... <laughs> was Some of the stuff he does, guys. Looks like Sakai Ziegler out there. That's just a straight DJ grab. Harris picks up the foul. That's his third. third J.D. Under. Harris, I'm sorry. And so bonus rest of the way for either team if there's a foul that's not player control. Score update in TBA Food City Center. 6 nothing. Oh, oh, fouls as Caden gets another two-point basket. I think Kevin was trying to get a timeout and get the subs yeah. in. We'll get one on the next bucket. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Caden, another one. He needs to call it now. I mean. I'm going to say he stepped on the line. Turnover, 68-45. I guess they weren't getting, I couldn't, I thought they were trying to get subs in, but I guess this one's adios. So let's get them in. we we'll get Lipinski, Henson, Bird, Axel, and Lucas Myers as a standing ovation for the Govs. Walking off the court tonight here. They'll move into the region semifinals. We'll have that broadcast Tuesday, 7.30. Same place. But if you want to come out, you're going to catch a beard and more than likely beard and Oak Ridge game. And the game prior to that, it'll be at 6 o'clock. Better get here early if you're coming out. Absolutely. One oh five. Seth so, Reading is going to check in if we get a stop of play. Here's a probably, free ball. Three ball, no good, and it's tipped around and into the hands of McAfee. Lipinski with a bump foul. Can't believe Max would foul. <laughs> just, <laughs> just not like him, is it? No. He's physical, guys. <laughs> That's the way he plays. I think we'll get Henson probably out. Since he played more minutes earlier, we'll bring in Seth Breeden for him. Smith, free throw. Oh, hit the line. Not going to call it. Actually, they'll get him in for Axel. They'll get Breeden in for Axel Von's Bonsdorf. I think Coach Wendell's going to try and get him back in. He is going to get Henson out. Well, that's what I thought they were doing. Yeah. I was kind of confused of why he would. <clears throat> Maybe Seth grabbed the wrong guy. I don't know. All right, 48 seconds as we work it in. As the student section chants Axel's name, they want him to get one up if he can if he can get an open look. Lipinski has it. To Bird. Bird will attack. Corner to Seth. He lost a handle. He was moving to the right, and the pass was going to the left. Inside, Smith kicks it to number 12, that is Hampton. And a short jumper by Smith, no good. Rebound Lipinski, eight seconds, seven. Bird into the front court. He will kick it across. Lipinski, Seth, 
They'll dribble the clock out. Your final score from the Marv. It's the Gov, 68. The Bobcats, 47. We'll take a couple minute break. Come back with stats of staying and talk to Nick Hodge tonight and hopefully one of the coaches. I told him. Welcome in to the Heartland Roofing post game show where William Blunt was victorious tonight. 68 47 over the Central Bobcats. And William Blunt has moved on to Tuesday night against probably Maryville, though, Robbie. That game's gotten a little closer over yeah, there. Yeah, it's a nine point lead with four minutes to go for the Rebels. So Maryville should hold on to that. So. That'll be a 7.30 start. We'll be right here. It was down to three, though, Stan, right? I think I think they got it to two. Got it down to two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's the Texas CJ Tech. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, Maryville coming back. Great third quarter we heard from Powell. That will move us on into the post-game show, or excuse me, the stats with Stan, first of all, brought to you by Tim Tipton, of course. Tim Tipton, a great realtor in this area. Give him a call for any realty needs. He's been a longtime sponsor for us here at William Blunt High School. William Blunt led by Caden Wendells, 34 points on the night, 14 points from Grady Robertson, 13 points from Jackson Dabrowski, four points from Nick Hodge, three points from Brett Cortez. Robbie, at the first of the year, I didn't think that this team could survive not getting anything from Trevor. Trevor, yeah, we remember we thought he, if he, if we get him, we're gonna blow teams out. And think tonight, I think he was 0 for 3 or 4, yeah. maybe. And, uh, and, we, and that just tells you the development of this team. They're all coming together. And you think Trevor cares about that? He wants to help his team. Yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. that We've got a 20-point win. It's not going to be nothing. No problem on him. He'll be ready to go yep. Tuesday night. Yeah. And that's not going to happen often that you're going to get zero points. I don't want to say nothing from him because you always get something from him. He does a lot of other things on the court. Oh, true. 68 points for William Blunt. For Central, Pastorana was 18 points to lead them. Jones added 10 points all in the second half. We've got five points for uh, David Clark. Four points each for, or excuse me, five points for also J.D. Harris. Four points each from Smith and also Josh Brown as well. And also, Cam Horton added one more point tonight for Central. That's 47, 68-47 is your final score. William Blunt move, it moves on to the semifinals of the region. Down to what, 16 teams? Or 32 teams, I guess, right? Is it still, let's yeah, see. Yeah, 16, 32. 32. Yeah. Yep, uh, so well. our courtside interview will be brought to you tonight by Gastro Parts. Yeah, visit them, gastroparts.com. It's going to be Nick Hodge coming up, talking to us. Nick, great game. Uh, talk about 
since coming on in January, uh, playing with this team, it looks like you're finally getting your um, where, where you feel like you're fitting in with this team. Talk about that in your uh, game tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, first, I want to say I'm very blessed for them welcoming in, welcoming me in here and accepting me. And, you know, I love this team, and I got their back, and they got my back. But, you know, when I first got here, I think it was just a chemistry thing. But now that we're all built in together and have the chemistry, I think we're going to go far. Yeah, we were talking just how, how much this team has grown in the last two, just the last – month really really it's just you know you had all that snow stuff and all that and i really think that helped this team you played four really tough games back to back to back and now since then the game since maryville uh, at maryville it's just been a different team and everybody's buying in you've got you know you got your two leaders in caden and grady but every night like it's, it could be a Dabrowski, it could be a Scarlet, it could be a henson it could be a cortez it could be a hodge right now everybody's buying in for the betterment of the team yes sir Stan? Uh, Nick, you do a lot of good things on the court, and uh, one of the things I noticed, you made a great move down on the baseline. Three guys guarding you, you went the other way. <laughs> they so, all, they mean, all flew to the – wait till right. you see that one on field. They uh, all went flying by you. Tell me, what what do you think is your best attribute that you could contribute to this team? Uh, definitely playmaking. I feel like my IQ is really up there. And, you know, with guys like Caden and Grady, you know, you really got to give them the ball in the spot they can shoot it. So I feel like my role on this team is just to play hard defense and uh, make the plays for everyone else. Now that's, that's, that's pretty good, high Q. Yeah, get the an, ball to Caden and, and Grady, right? right. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm like, that's an easy job. <laughs> Sounds easy, but, yeah, she makes you look good. Nick, tonight you're all over the glass. You had a bunch of long rebounds. You guys come out and played some zone. You'll have Maryville. They're up nine. It looks like it'll be Maryville repeat yeah. of them. Uh, Tuesday night we'll have that broadcast here. Thanks for coming up. We'll hand it over to Coach Reardon. Thank you for having me. All right. Congratulations. Another win for the Govs as they move into the semifinals. That's senior Nick Hodge as he'll hand it off to to assistant coach Grant Reardon. We'll let him get his on here right here, Robbie, real quick. Get him turned on here. All right, Grant. Welcome in. Grant, uh, this team right here, it's just been such a difference in the last month we mentioned. It's been on the defensive end. Talk about that with this goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we realized how good defensively we could be, especially whenever we've had the overtime loss against Maryville. Um, and then it's kind of been – we've just been preaching to keep building off of that. Um, and it's been looking really good as we went, went through this tournament and holding teams to really low numbers compared to what they average. Um, yeah. And then tonight it even showed uh, just down low how we were able to contain them down low and rebound. So that was great. Yeah, Coach, let's talk about that Maryville game. You, you guys kind of let that one get away over there, the regular season game, not the district tournament game. But since then, you guys have been 7-1. and one. Only loss was to West. Talk about what happened maybe that night. Not, I mean, even though you lost, I'm not counting that as a loss, but what happened that night that you guys realized, yeah. hey, wait a minute, we could get back our mojo back we had it the first of the year? Oh, yeah, it fueled the fire, man. Yeah. That's really what it did. It pissed everybody off, and uh, they took it to heart, and they realized that we're not as good as we're told we are, and we can be just as good as we were earlier if we go back to the habits that we showed in the end of that Maryville game after that heartbreaking loss. Um, and since then, I mean – I'm just sitting here, I, I, we talk as a staff, and it's like we look like we did prior to the very beginning just because we're having fun. We know our defense is leading to our offense, which is what we preach all the time. Uh, but that, that really just fueled the fire. It really got guys just, like, really upset. And then it was like, no, we're going to prove everybody wrong. We're not, we're not, you know, the team that we were last year, we're even better. That's what we're trying to prove, that we're better than last year. Yeah, so Tuesday night, uh, as Maryville's got a nine-point lead, last update we had was a couple minutes ago with uh, – three minutes left or three and a half to go. They were up by nine. So more than likely it will be another battle with Maryville, the fourth one of the year. And here Tuesday night at 7.30. Coach, last time we went against Maryville, uh, it was a lot of man-to-man -man defense. Talk about what you're expecting to see Tuesday night. Uh, there's, uh, I'm expecting to see a lot of grit, a lot of guys who take it personal. Um, you know, it's a rivalry. It's going to be a packed house here. You can't ask for a better environment to come out and dominate your rival and move on and hopefully, you know, get a sub-state berth and you know, hopefully win, you know, get the sub-state, win that and host it. Um, man, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I hope they're as excited as I am. And a lot on the line. That's assistant coach Grant Reardon. We want to thank him for coming up in this post-game report and tonight's game brought to you by Heartland Roofing. And we want to thank our...
private donor, also big friends of the Gov Nation Network. And thank you to all of our sponsors as making this possible. We will have another broadcast Tuesday, 730. We'll come on shortly after the Bearden game. Um, Bearden will be taking on, we think, Oak Ridge, but that lead was getting kind of close. So a lot to be determined. We'll see you guys Tuesday night, 730. Still alive are the Govs. <laughs>